You want to trade, whether it's stocks, forex, or crypto, but you don't want to spend hours in front of your computer or phone. The answer is automating your trading. There are different levels to automating your trading. You can semi-automate using things like bracket or trailing stop orders. You can automate further using conditional orders, and you can fully automate using coding. This video will focus on bracket orders and conditional orders. A bracket order is a combination of a limit order and a stop loss order. When you enter one, if the price moves in a favorable direction, you sell for a profit, and if it moves the other way, you get out before losing too much money. So how do you enter these on Questrade? When you first log in, the windows you need are account, either level one, level two, or order entry, and chart. I'll be using order entry as opposed to level one or level two. You then start out by entering your buy order, how you would like, market or limit, number of shares, duration, then select bracket order option. Here you can enter the desired profit sell price and stop loss sell price. Then you send the order and you can see how it shows up on the chart and orders tab of your account. You can modify orders by clicking the little pen icon in the orders tab and change the parameters in the pop-up window. Cancel orders by clicking the little X icon. You can attach a bracket to an existing position by going to the positions tab and right clicking on the position you want to attach it to and selecting attach bracket. Then enter the profit and stop prices in the pop-up window. On Questrade Mobile, enter the stock you want to buy or sell, click the trade button, and after entering your buy order parameters, scroll down to the bracket order section and check off profit and loss. Click save and send your order. You can see your orders in the orders page where you can edit or cancel as well. How do you enter bracket orders on interactive brokers? Enter your buy order on the order entry window, click the attach order option and check off profit taker and stop loss. Enter the desired prices and click submit. You can then modify or cancel the orders on the orders table window. For Interactive Brokers Trading Workstation, in the order entry window, click Advanced and then Attach Stop Loss Profit Taker Bracket and enter your desired profit and stop loss prices. On Interactive Brokers Mobile, in the order entry, scroll down to the Attach Orders section and select Bracket where you can enter the bracket details. You can then modify and cancel orders through the Portfolio Orders tab. If you enter a trade and use one bracket, then the price could end up moving much further than your profit limit. To take advantage of larger potential moves, you can use multiple brackets at the same time. This lets you automatically take profits along the way, so even if the stock moves somewhat in the direction you predict, you still benefit. When you enter multiple brackets, you want to make sure that each bracket has a portion of the total trade quantity. So here, instead of four shares on one bracket, I'm using one share on four different brackets. You can take advantage of profits even more by adjusting your brackets during the trade as each profit limit is reached. This way, you are not letting a profitable trade become a loss. Conditional orders work by adding a requirement that needs to be met before the order is sent. So in this case, waiting for the price to move below a certain level before buying. In Questrade, you can do this by clicking the add condition and entering the desired requirement for your order to be sent. In Interactive Brokers, you can do this by scrolling to the Attached Conditions section and clicking the Order Conditions option. Now there are a lot of brokers out there that do not support bracket orders or conditional orders, so if you want to take advantage of these tools, be sure to choose a broker that does support these order types. I know I have created a how-to bracket order video uh, in the past, but I wanted to remake it with more detail and show also how to do it in interactive brokers. In a future video, I will show how to fully automate using coding. Thanks for watching.